Okay, so this is what it's looking like underneath. I know it's a little dark under here, but it is what it is. So there's the pressure release valve. I'm going to uh, stuff some uh, some insulation up in there, so that'll seal that. Uh, and then I'll use some spray foam just to seal up every, everything around here. Uh, and then this is your exhaust pipe. Now I realized that the, I mentioned before about how close it was to the side. Um, it turns out that the, the pipe that comes out of the heater is slightly angled. So it made it even worse. So um, I believe also this pipe when it was bent is also uh, got a slight, uh, it's not perfect with the flaring on the other end. So it made it come over this way quite a lot. So uh, I just had to turn this pipe around to create even more of a gap here. So I think that's a, a decent sized gap all the way around this pipe. And then I'll add on the, the exhaust that bends. And then I'll send that uh, down and out towards the side here. Um, and then this is the air intake right here. And uh, yeah, you just want to put some, I'm going to put some silicone sealant on the bottom uh, of the heater so that the, no air can get through. I might put some, we'll figure out what kind of sealant to put in there. But So it all looks good from underneath. Um, I can add another, um, another piece onto the end of here and with a hose to direct it further away from the, from the base of the uh, trailer here. But uh, all is looking good. Now I just need to finish her off. So I got some silicone on the inside of this pipe and then uh, I've pushed it on and I'm just going to drill some holes for some screws. So I've done the other side already, that's nice and secure. Once this is in place I will do the same with uh, this, this piece that comes with the heater. That'll slot on the end here and then I'll do the same with that silicone on the inside and that's nice and secure ready to go. I'm going to wrap Teflon tape on the inside of this one here, get a little extension and then once it's in place I'll push some uh, insulation in and around this so that uh, just seals up the air gap. I'm going to also place a bead of silicone around there so that it seals uh, up um, between the air intake and here. I'll also do the same around all of these just so that no air can kind of get into the, uh, to the house from outside. I'll just put a little sealant around every little one here. Um, I might even use the draft excluder kind of stuff, stick that on, and then when I tighten it, tighten it down, It'll be nice and sealed. Okay, so I've just um, put three uh, levels of tongue and groove pine, which is going to be, it's going to go all the way up to the top eventually, but I just wanted to clear uh, the height of the top of this guy so that um, it's not going to be difficult to get in there afterwards. So uh, that's all ready to go. I'm just going to finish sealing off this guy and uh, we'll set it in place. Okay so I placed the heater into place, into position and went underneath to check it out and uh, realized that the, the sealer was kind of in the wrong place. So I moved it from off the bottom. Uh, the one around the square is fine, but the one around the circular hole is, uh, was not so good. So I basically took it off there and uh, I just added it onto here. So um, I have sec secured it around the actual hole itself and the square one will just fit around that square. Um, that circle there, the square one will be seated nice and this one worked out fine too. So the only one I moved is this one uh, to make sure the seal was fully sealed. Uh -huh. 